Yo ho yo ho a Skyrim life for me. What's going on everybody? Unreal Entertainment Gaming here Alex Animal 7 bringing you some more Skyrim and as I'm playing this game right now there is a severe hurricane pounding my house doggy style and it's not cool. Hurricane Sandy is outside and I'm about to just like go inside my game, grab my sword and just like start battling it out with Sandy cuz this is ridiculous. Um Right now, I am. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I, <laughs> I mean, um, <clears throat> if you guys watched my previous episode, then you would know exactly what happened. But uh, right now, I'm trying to see if I can go out and explore a little bit before I get into the main mission. Um, I'm trying my best not to kill people. I'm trying my best not to be an asshole. But what can you do? It's Skyrim, so I mean, let's let's just find out. I mean. Look at the texture of this game. The, the, the overall design and like, just look at it. Look at it! Beautiful game. Can't wait for it comes out with the PC. I wonder how it's gonna be like. My God. All right, so let's go down here and find out what's going. I think I'm gonna have to, like, you know, go back inside from where I came from. But right now, I'm just gonna go out and explore a little bit. Honestly, I want to fight my first dragon. I've always wanted to fight one of these Skyrim dragons, but I never had the chance to. So, for those of you out there watching this, let me know in the comment section below on just exactly when I'm going to be facing these dragons. Because I just want to, like, go at it. I want to duke it out with one. Even if that means death. And I remember I read a comment. Some of you guys have been commenting, uh, you know, making fun of my little armor. I mean, you know what? I may have the shittiest armor. But I have the biggest heart in terms of battling. I swear, I'll battle it out with like a freaking ox. Right now, I'll prove it to you. Watch, here we go. What are you staring at, ox, huh? If I kill that, will I get bounty? Well, I don't know. Oh, great, bounty collector. Oh, well. Since I'm slaughtering this damn ox, might as well. YOLO. I mean, I'm hungry, so I ain't got no food, man. I haven't eaten in like seven days. All right, it's gone. Who the hell shot at me? Who wants some, huh? Who the fuck want? Oh, I'm about to die. Shit. Shit, that, that I'm not cool. I got to get out of here. Oh, fuck. I'm kind of shit. Oh, I got an arrow sticking out of my freaking shoulder. What would you guys do if you were living during the medieval ages? Because honestly, me, I would be the most, you know, devious little conniving person in the world. I mean, living in a medieval ages, think about it, guys. There is no possible way of you getting caught for doing anything, so like everything is legal in a sense. There was no law in the term. I mean, granted, the the village's laws, you know, the village laws was always brutal. I mean, they would always, you know, execute you for no reason or whatnot, but think about it. You get to go around, just talk to any girl you want, you know, just do some stuff and, you know, rob people and nobody would know who you are. So imagine if you could build a time machine and go back during those days and just like mess with the people like you just dress up in a giant gorilla suit and you just start knocking on their door and just start pounding your chest they all get scared and whatnot oh my god it's the best man this hurricane outside is not play if, if like i swear there's, there's gonna be a tree that's gonna go flying through my window and i'm just gonna get hit by it that's all you're gonna hear you're gonna hear me talking playing the game the next thing you know you're gonna hear me just go Bleh! and then silence all right did that guy go or oh, i'm sneaking up on him all right where you at, guy? Look at that. Look at that. I'm sneaking up on him. As the wild lion tries on his prey. Sneaking up on the prey, yeah? Here we go. Oh, crap. He spotted me. Damn it. Hide behind a tree. I'm trying my best not to, like, get in trouble here, but, I mean... Oh, man. This sword got to do more damage. Come on. Come on, Shimona Corona. All right. That guy is not... He's not almost... Oh, crap. All right. Here we go. We have a... We have a one arm battle. Wow. Are you kidding me? That is bull crap. I think I need to get better armor. I think you guys were right. I really need. I need to go get better armor. My God. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Skyrim. I mean, a lot of you. I've read your comments, and you've been telling me that they're making another one. Um, if you have any information on what the other one is going to be based on, please let me know in the comment section below. Whether it be uh. The story, the complexity, you know, what system it's going to be for, next gen, current gen, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Man, I'm back where I started, lovely. Imagine you can obtain that axe. I mean, if you were to carry that in the street, probably get arrested by cops, but what more can I say? It is Monday, October 29th, and you know what that means. Assassin's Creed 3 comes out tonight, and... 
WWE 13. And I'm going to be bringing you the best of both worlds, hopefully. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Actually, speaking of Assassin's Creed, um, I can have my, my friend Paul vouch for this. I never played Brotherhood, and I never played Assassin's Creed 2. I never played any other Assassin's Creed game other than the first one. The first one, you know, it was good. It was, you know, yada yada. You know, I played it when I was really young, so I didn't really understand much. But Assassin's Creed 3, it's actually shaping out to be good. I, I don't know what the hell the story's about. I don't know what anything's about. You know, I played like, you know, 15 minutes of the, of the second one, and it was pretty good. But um, if you would, please let me know in the comment section below on what Assassin's Creed 3 is going to be about. Because I'm thinking about getting it. And uh, if I do get it, I really want to be into it. So just give me some reasons of, you know, actually getting into the game. Because, like I said, I, after the first one, it didn't really do it for me. I was just like, wow, really? Assassin's Creed? You know, I got the collector's edition as well. I got the little tin box that came with the little toy and the little codes. But then when I, when I played the Assassin's Creed game, it was pretty cool, you know, going amongst people and just like, you know, breaking their necks and doing all that stuff. But, you know, it just... Ooh. Hello. Oh, she has a knife. Whoa, whoa, broomstick, lady. Hey, you know what? You pull out that broomstick, I'm pulling out my uh, Thanos sword, so you better watch it. I'm just, I'm just saying. But no, just let me know in the comment section below, guys, on whether or not I should get Assassin's Creed 3, and if so, why. Please break it down for me, because I'm really having a hard time deciding. If this bitch hits me, I swear to God, I'm tossing her in the fire. I'm tossing you in the fire, I swear to God! Don't mess with me. Oh, she's following me, lovely. All right, I need to talk to this damn king. Let him know what the hell's going on. Hello. Can I talk to you? Well, I trust you have something vitally important to tell me. Important enough to interrupt me in the middle of council? Oh, shut up. You're not that important. Just listen to what I have to say, okay? You were at Helgen when it was attacked? You saw this with your own eyes? Yes. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon Ulfric is lurking in the mountains... that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be bad. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Oh! There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar. Hey, 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 he wants to use me for particular talents, but I don't go that way, buddy. Dragons, I mean, I'll shove my sword dragons, down your throat, but I won't dragons. just shove anything else besides that, you little freak. Alright, so I don't know. I want to steal this cup so bad if I do that. My ass is going to get killed, so. I might as well just continue to follow the king, yeah? Go off and learn about these dragons so I can go off and slay them. I sound like Chris Hemworth from Barringar. The Avengers. I I someone who can help you with your dragon. Go ahead, fill him in with all the details. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Ah, indeed. The Yarrow. Oh, yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, fetch. when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. So you want me to go off and look for something that may or may not exist? Are you stupid? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, 
find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Okay, like, wait. What? Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. My god, this guy is like... Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. Neither am I, come to think of it. Leave it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure you will prove most useful. I gotta get out of here. This guy keeps talking. He wants me to go look for an ancient tablet that may or may not exist. Oh, I thought you would just shut your face and just let me go off on my mission, eh? Alright, so... Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go out there and do what I have to do. So that means I gotta pull out my little sword and just... Uh, man. Okay, so... Hopefully I run into a dragon. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, um... I hope I don't. Because if I do, that's just gonna spill, like... Like, just, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for a dragon. I mean, I got, like, the most shittiest armor and, like, a damn sword that swings, like, a, like, a mile per hour. I don't know, just not the best idea, but, I mean, what can I do? All right, so, I'm in search of this tablet. I don't know, I don't really know where to go. I'm going to follow my little HUD on the top, so. I swear, I just want to kill some of these people. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so let's just get out of this little city. I really wonder how they're going to make the next Elder Scrolls game. That's going to be awesome. It really is. Ooh, look, some potions. I mean, I don't know, man. I just... You know, Skyrim... Skyrim is a good game and all, but I just feel like they should improve on the... Um, on the missions in a sense of being able to find them a little bit more I don't like the little HUD on top you know what I mean that you know guides you to it I think there should be like a if you go right, look to the left hand lower side guys the lower left side of the screen if there was like a little map there that would indicate where exactly you should go that would be awesome you know but uh I don't know I mean I guess this is fine all right so we're off yeah who are these people May the sun warm oh, your shit. path, friend. Okay, um, I'm just gonna slowly back away now. And just, I'm gonna pretend like I never saw that. You people are strange. You're talking cats. Demons! Demons! Imagine a dragon just descended down right now. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I'm. That sword's bigger than me. It looks like I'm holding the Z sword from Dragon Ball Z. Incredible. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I'm going. That's it for today, everybody. I'm Unview Entertainment Gaming signing off. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Give me a like and stay tuned for the next episode because hopefully you'll see me battle a dragon. All right, guys. Take care. Peace.